Guys, it's Sunday at about 3.30. Got done with all my honeydews, ran around shopping, getting stuff for the new house that we haven't moved into, so we're buying stuff I gotta move. Um, headed out to the 19, I think it's a 1924 house. It's really close to my work. Last time I was there, I dug the 50s, I can't remember what year it was, uh, Washington Quarter, and I found a couple wheats. I'm gonna go check to see if they're home. They're never home when I go by there. Uh, if that doesn't work out, I'll find somewhere else to go. See you when I hit the ground. Okay, so here I'm at my first dig. Obviously, uh, I showed you a picture of the property, so they are home. Um, this is my third dig, first one I recorded. I didn't record the other ones because they were so close to the ground, top of the ground. Uh, the other one, the first one was a rifle shell, like a 30 out six size. The other one was a surface penny, so I just reached down. I flipped over a little leaf about this big with my uh, probe, and there it was. It was a wheat penny. On my first dig, I noticed those are not my digging shoes. Got the wrong one, so I have nowhere to strap my cord behind because a lot of times I will put my cord back here, loop this in like this, and hold it with my digging shoes. Well, I don't want to do it with these, so I don't want to get them too dirty. So, first dig sounds like a penny, about three inches down. I'll see what she is. Okay, it's in the plug. Somewhere's in the plug. Oh, did I knock it out? What the heck? Oh, yeah, I knocked it out. It is a Lincoln. Stankin' Lincoln. Alright. There's a Lincoln Memorial. Moving on. I come across the best sound I've come across yet, and there's two of them side by side. As you can see, the numbers, there's the numbers. So I got the one on the left, right there. And I got one on the right. Both of them showing about five inches down. I'm going to pause it, get set up on these, and we'll get them out of the ground. One moment. Okay, this is the signal that was on the right of my scan, of the live scan. The one over here. It kind of drug me off this direction when I tried pinpointing, so I'm not too hopeful on that one. This one here continued to pinpoint right in this area, so hopefully, if you're seeing this, it might be a good sign. If you're not seeing this, you're not seeing this, obviously. Had a good tone to it, though. Just don't like the fact that I'm pretty sure there's iron that direction. Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's getting shallower. That's concerning. Because it showed some depth to the thing. And now it's not. Wherever it is, it's shallow. Ah! Stink penny! Is it a wheat? That's a Lincoln Memorial. Not even a darn wheat. Okay. Now I'll check it see what happens so at this point I haven't dug much definitely no good high tones this one here I have found a nickel it was real close to the surface I didn't even bother recording and I probably should have because the wheat's being on top but it was just a Jefferson nickel this one here is a nickel tone numbers are a little off it's got four inches or so to it checking the plug see if it was in that first oh okay that oh never mind i was gonna say that's the telltale sign of a coin but i thought i was seeing this didn't realize i was finding the nickel itself just a regular nickel 1980 there it is nickel number two chase those low tones moving on all right about a four inch penny tone probably another stinking lincoln memorial i'm hoping to at least catch a, a wheat on film Give some excitement. Come on. Uh, the only weed I found was right on top, underneath a little tiny leaf. Okay, I see the coin tracer. I don't see the coin. The coin tracer has grass in it, which is usually an indicator. It's not that old. And bingo, Lincoln Memorial. 
I'm moving on. Okay, I got a confusing one here. I'll show you what I mean. See if I can get this in the camera. Already. I gotta find it. Well, now my numbers are more solid. Turn on it. And it pinpoints right at it. Okay, I'm going to pause get it set up on this thing. Um, I don't know if you saw the depth meter, but it's showing about 7-8 inches. That's a pretty deep one. Numbers are goofy. Sounds a little weird, but uh, we're going to dig this one. One moment. So this one sounds about right for a good coin. Uh, that usually means I'm going to get down there and find a 9-inch zinc and penny. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Oop, blew the end of that out. The ground is so fluffy, soft, it actually makes it difficult to get a, a plug sometimes. That's a good one. Give me a sound. Give me a sound. It's nulling out at times. That's weird. There it is. That sounds great. I see shine. And there it is. I got, and I am probably six feet from where I found the silver quarter here. So that's a rosy. Anything else? Oh, that I got me excited there, that little squeak. Sweet, so another silver from this property. That's a rosy, so it's really a big deal. 1950? That's another 50s. I can't remember the... Where's my loop? I can't remember the year of that one I found. A quarter. 1959. I want to say... I'm going to have to go back and look. I want to say I found a 57 or a 59 here. That's been a couple months ago. All right. Shiner, I'm moving on. Man, I'm glad I listened to that one. Okay, this one's solid on a penny tone at about 3 inches. Which means Lincoln Memorial. It's definitely a copper. No zincing on this one. I chase the zincings if they're deep because I'm hoping, well, what the heck was that? I just flicked everything flying out of the hole. Oops. Okay, it's still in the hole. Anyways, I chase the z deep zincing in hopes of Indians. And rarely ever find them. I didn't see anything. There it is. Yeah, it's a penny. Is it a weeder? Oh, I think it is. I think it is. Number two wheat for the day. I can't make out the Lincoln Memorial, so I'm thinking that's a zinkin. Or zinkin. That's a weedy. Yep, that's a weedy. No clue what year, but at least I got it on film. And I don't think you can make that out, but. Oop. Oh, almost caught. Lost it. Caught up my thumb. Second wheat for the day. Moving on. Okay, I wasn't going to record this one, but I'm on the side of the house. There's no grass here. One of these days, I'm hoping to dig a silver spoon. Who knows? Oh, it's a piece of garden hose thing. Can't read it. It does say something on it. Champion. Looks like a little garden hose jet. Pretty cool. Moving on. Alright, this one sounds like a diamond a couple inches. Uh, one direction it completely makes it... Well, one direction it does that. It nulls out. The other one, it makes a nice high pitch. I've had a few uh, coins do that in the past that I've dug up. And two of them have been uh, Mercs. This one, I'm sure it's not a Merc dime. But... We'll see what it ends up being. Oh, I see a coin down there. Looks like it might be a penny. 
it is another wheat. I'm glad I dug that one. Don't know the year. We'll get it figured out, hopefully at the end. Moving on. Alright, I got a great high tone with no depth. I have found one uh, clad quarter. That's what I'm thinking this one might be. Could be garbage. And I didn't didn't get the quarter on film because it was under a penny. So I dug the penny and found the quarter. This one might be garbage. Because it sure seems deeper than it was indicating. Should be in that. And it is. It's Ka. A brand new Ka. Some sort of small sports car. Red in color. It looks like a Pantera. I think it is. I think that's the old Ford Pantera. Is it Ford that made that? I know it had a Ford motor. Alright. Moving on. Yep. It's wrap up time. So here are the digs of the day. Got all my garbage and oddball stuff over here. Got one rifle cartridge. Uh, I got this component that says Champion on it. I think it's a garden hose piece. Oops, put it in the front. Put it in the picture, man. Uh, yeah, because it says Champion. Looks like it might have had threads. Definitely had threads. So it was a pretty heavy component. A little water jet piece. Uh, one toy car. Part of a door. Latch setup. Uh, another piece. Oops. Another piece of a car, a little bit of a grill there. And when that hole was another tiny piece of that car. Man, I can't even get my stuff on the camera there. Uh, it looks like I found part of a Porsche here. Found that piece. Found the door piece. And I think maybe the hood. I don't know. I'm not sure. That was all one area. Another part of a car. A little water faucet piece. Uh, that one took me a bit to find. It's part of a pull tab. Got my penny pile here. Two nickels I dug. Five clad dimes. One quarter. And as far as wheats, I ended up with a 41, a 45, and a 51. And they're all S. The dime that I dug, the lonely silver, but at least I got one. It was a 59. I did not check the uh, mint mark on it can't even see it. Well, I would have already had the picture of it once it's cleaned up. I just haven't cleaned it yet. I'm taking a picture. So that's what I dug today. Thanks for watching. Um, not sure how much I'm going to get out and hunt because uh, my garage is starting to look like this. Boxes. All my cabinets are empty. So I've been packing, trying to play when I can. Well, till next time. Enjoy the rain.